Hey guys, this is going to be a video showing you how to do this hairstyle right here. If you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, so in this video, guys, I just need to warn you, like, I'm using color 1 Canuckle on here, and my hair is a 1B, but if you guys have me on Instagram, you'll know that I took this hair from my friend, which I was doing her hair for her, and the hair was around, and I was bored, so this is what I was doing, just come up with a style for you guys. So, yes, make sure you get Canuckle on here that matches your hair color. For those who have short to medium hair, you need to start this style on stretched out hair. This could either be braid out, banded method, or blow dried hair. Okay, so in this video, guys, I just need to warn you, like, I'm using color 1 Canuckle on here, and my hair is a 1B, but if you guys have me on Instagram, you'll know that I took this hair from my friend which I was doing her hair for her, and the hair was around, and I was bored, so this is what I was doing, just come up with a style for you guys. So, yes, make sure you get Canuckle on here that matches your hair color. If you wish to do this tutorial and you have longer hair, I would advise to do it on wet hair, where you can braid your ends and roll it around into a bun so that it will be more flat when you're putting on the Canuckle on here. Okay, so some things that you'll need before you start is Canuckle on here, which is used for braiding. It's usually 99 cents or even less sometimes at your local beauty supply store. You will also need gel of your choice, rubber bands or any hair tie that you use to tie up your hair, bobby pins, a soft and hard bristle brush if you choose, and hair oil. I'm using avocado oil in this video. In this particular video, I'm starting my hair on a stretched and old twist out. Before you start doing your hair, you'll need to take the Canuckle on here. I take the hair and I separate it into two halves that came in the pack. One half will be for the back of my hair and one half will be for the front of my hair. Take one half of the hair and put it around the doorknob. In this video, my doorknob is not circular so it's a little bit harder but I don't have any circular doorknobs in my house except for the front door, which I'm not going to do my hair at. But yeah, you put the hair around the doorknob and you begin to braid. And you braid all the way to the end. When you are done braiding to the end, tie the bottom of the hair with an elastic band. So now you can either leave the hair on the doorknob until you're finished doing your hair or you can take it off and set it aside for now. Okay guys, so in, when I was doing this video, I had ran out of Eco Styler gel, which is the one gel that I used. I had to use a different gel, which was not helping my hair and I was struggling, so that part wasn't recorded. But here's a picture of when I gelled up the front and then I still had the back to do. Okay, so because I knew I was going to take this right out after I was done, I didn't really gel up the back, but be, if you are going out and this is a hairstyle that you want to keep, you need to gel both the front and the back to your liking. I did the front ponytail going towards more of the back of my head, and then I did the back ponytail coming towards up, so both ponytails were kind of centered in the middle of my hair. You want to make sure that your hair is in a bun so that it doesn't stick out when you put the Canuckle on hair on top.
Now for the back. For the back, you take the rest of the connector on here and you put your hair tie or whatever you're using through to the connector on here. Make sure that the hair is centered directly in between. In this video, my hair is not the nicest hair because it's, like I said, it was just thrown away in my house. But make sure that it's directly in the center so you have even sides on both sides. Split the hair in two and take one side and cover your bun. After you do so, take the hair and begin to wrap it around the bun, underneath the remaining hair that's still left there. At this time, you may choose to pin it, but in this video, I just tuck the hair underneath. Then take the next side of the hair and go the opposite direction. The first time I wrapped it around, I wrapped it around a little tighter. This second time, I want to wrap it around a little more loose, so I don't have a cone shape, but I have more of a circular shape. At this time, you may choose to pin it or tuck it under. It's your choice. Okay, and that's the finished hairstyle. I hope you guys like. So after I did this video, I compared. And I'm like, wait a minute. This video, there's something wrong with it. So I noticed that I did this hairstyle on the opposite side of my face. So you can choose whether you want to do it on the left or right. I also did this hairstyle higher up. So now I'm going to show you how I did it exactly or almost exactly as I did as in my picture on Instagram. Okay, so if you guys do it farther apart like I did to come further down, you might have a gap in between. So what I did was just pull on the braid a little bit so that you can cover up the hole that's in between the hair so you don't see that harsh circle. Thanks for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.